Hey everyone, Nicole here. Um, I'm on here doing my very first pregnancy diary. Yay! Hi everyone, guess what? It is my first pregnancy vlog and I am so excited to share it with you guys. Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I am fully pregnant. Oh my god. Still trying to wrap my head around the fact that I am officially four weeks pregnancy. Four weeks pregnancy. Four weeks pregnant today. Welcome back. Can you believe this? What the heck? <laughs> I'm still what the hecking <laughs> because I can't believe it. So yeah, I've been on letrozole for about six months. I actually can't, I'll have to go back and like count all my cycles. Honestly, I just lost track. Unbelievably, I don't know how I lost track, but I lost track. I don't even know how many cycles I've done. Um, anyway, it was getting really close to Christmas and we were just not getting pregnant. And I just thought to myself, maybe we're getting too old. Maybe like, there's some sort of other infertility involved. I mean, it has been six years since we did fertility treatment. Um, so things could have changed, you know, considerably. Um, so I just was like, something's wrong. You know, I'm really gutted, but I think it's just time to let it go. Um, we're getting close to Christmas, so even so, we should just not worry about it and just reassess in the new year, even though in my heart I just knew that it was probably likely that we would just carry on with our lives and just knew that we gave it every shot and it didn't work. However, <laughs> however, this is where the story gets interesting. I just, like, knew, I just knew I had these strange symptoms happening to me. I woke in the middle of the night on one of the nights prior to taking a pregnancy test and I just had this cramping and electric shock going on in my uterus and I thought god that's so weird like it's weird because the only time I've had this was in one pregnancy and that was Mela Rose's and I, rem I specifically remember the electric shock feeling because I knew I was a few days after my embryo transfer with Mela Rose and I felt that and I was like I knew I knew that that was implantation I just knew it Lo and behold, behold, I was pregnant. Um, so that's the only other time I'd felt it. And I was just like, this is very strange. This is very weird. Um, and the next night I had the same electric shock feeling, but without the cramping. So um, I'd felt it two nights in a row and I just thought, this is, this is weird. Um, so I had maybe, you know, like I had the suspicions, maybe I'm pregnant, but I also in the back of my head was like, you haven't taken any fertility treatment, you don't ovulate on your own, you just finished a cycle last month sometime and it's like you're just going to carry on and you're not going to get a period because I have PCOS and one of my symptoms is that I just don't ovulate at all uh, without you know medical treatment like letrozole. Uh, Clomid never worked for me so but letrozole did. Um, so I remember my husband coming home one night and he said to me, you know, completely randomly out of the blue, he's like, so are you just like going to get a period or what's going to happen? And I said to him, no, I won't get a period because I, you need to ovulate first. Um, and he said, oh, okay, so you just won't, like, you just won't know if you get pregnant. And I said, well, no, I won't because we've stopped treatment and I'm not going to get pregnant. Isn't this so ironic? I'm just saying this is so ironic that he said all this because it was completely out of the blue. He just came home from a meeting one night and he just laughed at me because he found me sitting on the PlayStation gaming, which is not usual for me because I just don't have time to sit on the PlayStation game. But one night I was just like, you know what? I really want to play Spyro. So I just played Spyro. So that's why I probably specifically remember that moment because it was just so out of the ordinary. So I said, no, I won't get a period because I have to take the drugs, which gets me to ovulate, which then I get the period if I'm not pregnant. And he said, oh, okay. Yeah, no, that's all good. And I do remember saying to him, so um, if I get pregnant, I won't know. <laughs> I just thought it was so funny. In hindsight, I think that's really hilarious. Um, and then, so that was prior to the electric shock things. The electric shock things were probably like, I'm going to say a week later, maybe, my dates in my mind are all very fuzzy because I was not tracking anything because I hadn't taken drugs so I was like I'm not what's the point in tracking anything we're not doing treatment so I hadn't tracked anything I didn't know ovulation dates I don't know period dates I don't know anything um 
So yeah, I had that electric shock kind of feeling and was like kind of suspicious, started to feel a bit weird, um, which for me doesn't normally start till about six weeks pregnant. So I was like, nah, I'm just, it's all in my mind because if I was pregnant, like dates don't add up and stuff like that. Um, so then it was, I don't know the date, but some other night, um, I remember just feeling really yuck and I said to Martin, I was like, did you feel yuck after that? Um, McDonald's last night and he's like no and my brother was there for dinner and he said to me "Ugh, you're not pregnant are you <laughs> which was so funny because at the time I was I just didn't know and so that night it was just it was playing on my mind and it was playing on my mind and I just thought nah, you know what I'm just gonna take a test tomorrow I know it'll be a complete waste but I'll just take a test and so that's why I didn't film it I, sh I should have filmed it but I didn't film it because who in their right mind, who doesn't ovulate and doesn't get pregnant on their own and has to have do fertility treatment all the time, would ever think it would be positive, right? So I take this test and I mean, there's a line on it now. You can kind of see a faint line because it's obviously a bit old. Um, so I took the test and there was a really faint line and that made me go, okay, so like the morning sicknessy feeling I was feeling was not true because... This line is really faint, it's probably not even real, and if it's real, I'm well, well before a missed period because it was so light. Um, so I kind of thought, hmm, it's a bit inconclusive at this point. I still wish I'd filmed it. Um, and I rang my friend and I tried to show it, and isn't it so frustrating when you can see something on here, but you're trying to show someone like on your phone or whatever, and it's just impossible to see anything. So that was frustrating. Um, but she was like, you know, like, I, I feel like I see, like, she's looking at her phone, oh, I feel like I see, it's hard to see. Um, so the next day, she came back, after I had taken, I'll show you all of these tests, but I'm just going to have to adjust my camera, so I'll show them all in just a minute. But, um, the next day after I took this test, where I was like, there is a line on here, there isn't, absolutely, there's a line on here, and that is the preg life pregnancy test video that you saw. Um, after that, I showed my friend, she's like, I can totally see that, I can see that. I'm going to come over and, um, I'm going to bring a bunch of different brands over, because the month or two previous, I had taken a first response, but the first response cap was not pink, it was white, it was clear, and I thought, that's strange, that's not what these tests are meant to look like, so I don't know what the deal is with that, but anyway, the test line came up positive, and within an hour, that test line had completely disappeared. Pregnancy forum, or pregnancy test forum, I did find someone who said the exact same thing. The clear tip pregnancy test of the first response, they had a positive and it completely disappeared in an hour. And when I read that, my heart sunk and I was really gutted and got my period and the cycle was over. So because of that, it made me a little bit weary and suspicious. So she came over with a bunch of different branded pregnancy tests and that's the other video. The other video, it might have been the same, I can't remember if I did it in separate videos, um, of you seeing her come over for this pregnancy too, so it was, it was fun, but it was just so funny. Um, so those tests confirmed that I was indeed uh, pregnant, according to these tests, uh, which was really exciting. I still could not believe it, and to this day, I still cannot believe it. I, because I'm filming this late, I'm actually nearly seven weeks pregnant right now, and I'm just trying to get this four week pregnancy video up because otherwise I'll never get it done. Um, so I went and got my blood drawn on what I believe may have been about 15 DPO. I waited a number of days because I just wanted to see what these pregnancy tests were doing just to confirm. So what I believe to be about 15 DPO, I went and got a pregnancy, uh, a beta HCG blood test drawn and that came back at 147 which is 100% positive was definitely pregnant um, and compared to my other kids tests put me around what I believe I was which was about 15 DPO at that point or four weeks one day um, I'm yet to have uh, an ultrasound by the way and I'm nearly seven weeks and I'm, I'm still yet to have an ultrasound haven't had one yet so I can't really confirm proper dates until I get the ultrasound. Um, because even if I look back in my calendar 
for the month before this and try and see when my last period was. I still don't know when I ovulated, like if I ovulated at cycle day 14 or if I ovulated on cycle day 18. So I'm only going to be a matter of maybe a few days to a week out from what I think I am. So we're just going to stay in four weeks today for this vlog, even though I'm nearly seven weeks. <laughs> I'm busy y'all, I got three kids already. Okay, before I show you the pregnancy test and muck up my camera, um, so for this pregnancy I've decided to buy one pregnancy item in the grocery shop every fortnight. So I do my groceries every fortnight, I just I just don't have time to do it weekly. Um, so my first item for this grocery shop was I bought three of these Huggies Wipes Coconut Oil Lightly Fragrance wipes because you can never do like I use these to this day I don't even have any babies in my house and I still use wipes they're just amazing for wiping yucky sticky fingers that my nearly six year old still has and just cabinets and, and benches and tap wear and it, but they clean everything I've got them in my car even um, and then these nappy bags to make sure nappies don't stink out your car if you have to do a nappy car change um what else have I got to tell you? Um, oh, my symptoms for the first pregnancy vlog are major bloat. And when I say major, let's underline that. Major bloat. I could not believe how bloated I felt. Um, worse than any of my pregnancies I've ever had. And it was just, it was tight, it was sore, and it just felt like I'd ha eaten a whole loaf of bread and just like there were gases running around in there or something I don't know I had a bit of nausea which I thought was unusual because um I don't get nausea in my pregnancies until about week six really um and just extremely tired so just your typical early pregnancy symptoms really so that's it for this vlog because there's not a lot to say because I what do you do when you're four weeks pregnant right like you just sit there and wonder is this real? Um, I also had a lot of worry, talking in past tense now because obviously week four's well been and gone, I had a lot of worry, just worry that I was going to start bleeding, worry that I was going to start cramping um, because I had a friend who recently got pregnant and started bleeding, started cramping and lost the pregnancy which is really, I was so gutted for her, so gutted. Um, and just those kind of things I know happen and they can be bad and they can be fine. Roman's pregnancy, I bled and spotted and, and had cramping around that five, six week mark or something. I think it was around about that. And um, and I bled and then it came to nothing. And his HCG rose and had the ultrasounds and everything's fine. And now he's 11. So it just goes to show that it's not always bad. Um, but for her... For her situation, obviously, it did end in a miscarriage, and obviously, you think about that when you are now early pregnant, and you're like, okay, I know it's happened to me before, and it was fine, but it's happened to my friend, it was not fine, and it just makes you worry. But no bleeding, no spotting, no cramping. So far, so good. Thank goodness. Didn't have any bleeding or spotting or cramping with Mila Rose or Micah's pregnancies either. Um, so it was just that, that first time with Roman. But as of right now, I'm feeling just in shock still, just still trying to gather my thoughts and be like, holy crap, this happened. Because although I was trying for those six months, just finding out when you weren't expecting it, just, I felt like I was blindsided. I was like, holy smokes, and I need to stop. I know this is a nearly seven week symptom right now, but I'm just telling you right this very second. Every time I take a deep breath in like that, I feel like I need to be sick for some reason. It's just like, the, if I just breathe normally I'm fine, but if I like do it, <gasps> it won't do it. It just makes me, it catches me in my throat. It just makes me feel like I need to gag or vomit or something. So that's a random pregnancy symptom that's happening right now. Um, so yeah, that's it for four weeks pregnant. I still can't believe I'm doing this. It is absolutely crazy. So make sure you subscribe so you can follow up and watch my 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and beyond weeks pregnant. Um, I usually only make it to about 37 weeks pregnant so 
um, I won't get the whole 40 weeks worth of pregnancy vlogs in so stay tuned for the next one thank you so much for watching and um, I will see you on my next vlog where we talk about all the things for pregnancy Week five. all right see you guys thanks for watching bye all right so now now I'm going to show you um, the pregnancy test because I can now that I've finished my I just quickly did my exit goodbye to you guys so now I can adjust my camera because I'm blind as a bat and I won't even know if it's like not in focus when I move it again um, of all the pregnancy tests I took all right so this is the pregnancy test I took that after my brother had said you're not pregnant are you and the one that I didn't film because I didn't think I was actually going to so there is an easier line to see now but it wasn't actually quite that easy to see at the time now it's just kind of set a little bit so I don't know if you can actually see that in the camera or not um yeah there's a very faint line that you can see there but it was a lot fainter at the time so that was that one and then the next one so this is the one that i was like holy crap i'm pregnant and i filmed and then my friend came over and um brought all those tests over so that's what i believe was about 10 dpo like obviously these lines are before a missed period because they're so light. And then we've got 11 DPO, obviously not a squinter anymore and at this point I'm like, okay, so this is like for real, I cannot believe it. Then we've got, where is it? There we go, 12 or approximately 12 dpo another increase in the line so that's cool super excited when i saw that of course like when i start doing these i freak out if they're not getting darker but <laughs> they all got darker which is great pee on a stickaholic i tell you approximately 13 dpo or what would be a the day before a missed period isn't it crazy that they tell you to wait a day after your period's due like so your first day of missed period when I'm getting these lines like way before a missed period. And then this would be technically the day of the period being due. Just trying to get it not so bright. There we go. So getting darker. And then these two, I think I stopped for a wee while and then these two were Five weeks one day is when it finally was, the test line was darker than the control, which is the bottom one. And the top one, I'm not 100% sure when I took it. So yeah, you can see that this is the test line. So it's darker than the control line at approximately five weeks one day. So I could, I was confident that obviously the HCG levels were rising and we had a sticky bean. So there you go.